ESRI Geo Inquiries are 15 minute activities on standard classroom content using the ArcGIS Online mapping platform. You can access Geo Inquiries from esri.com slash geoinquiries. Each set has 15 level one lessons ready to go, requiring no install, no download, no login, while the level two lessons use logins to enable analysis functions in ArcGIS Online. Let's try this US history level one activity about steel. Just click on the lesson to open the PDF. Each geoinquiry is a short, printable, two-page document with guidance walking you through questions, steps, and the key content, even if teaching with just one computer and a projector. Each geoinquiry has a custom URL, which you can click or copy or type to open the map on computer, laptop, tablet, or even smartphone. Each level one map also opens with no login required. Each map is different, but they all have some common characteristics. These are live interactive maps that you can click and hold and move around. You can zoom in and out in several ways by using the plus and minus buttons in the top left, by double clicking on the map, by using a mouse's scroll wheel, or by holding down the shift key and clicking and dragging a box. And you can return to the starting point by clicking the home button. To the left of the map is information about what's in the map. There are three buttons at the top. The right one shows the legend for what's currently displayed. The center shows the contents as layers that are available in the map. And the left shows a little information about the map with access to more details. With the contents button clicked, you can control which layers are on and off. Ghosted layers are set not to display at the current scale. The map displays layers according to the sequence in the column at left, moving from the bottom up. So sometimes you need to turn off a layer in order to see what's beneath it. You can turn layers off or on at any time as desired. Right now, the map shows a topographic base map. One of the cool features of ArcGIS Online is the ability to swap base maps anytime you want, because some data is easier to see over one base map than over another. You can also control the transparency of a layer by hovering over the name, clicking the three dots to bring up more properties, and using the transparency slider to make it little bit by little bit on up to 100% transparent or shade it back down. This even works with the base map. So the visibility of a layer depends on its order, scale, on or off, and transparency. Above the base map, each feature on the map has some information attached to it, and you can see it by clicking on the feature of a layer that is on. If your map has several layers that are turned on, or if many features in one layer are close together, you may get a number of features from one click. You can use the next and previous buttons at the top of the pop-up to move your way through these features. For most layers, all the features in that layer can be shown using a table, which you can open, explore, and sort. You can even get some basic statistics. Above the map, you've got a find address or place tool where you can type in address or a feature and get to that feature and see it depending on the layers that are in the display. 
Next to the find box, you may also have some bookmarks that take you to certain focus zones for the activity. There's also a measure tool that allows you to display area or distance or location. Thanks for checking out Geo Inquiries. We hope you like these. Please let us know by providing feedback using the address at the bottom of each activity. And check out the next steps just above for branching out into your own custom investigation. Or try the Level 2 lessons with a free account to any K-12 school or youth club at esri.com schools. Thanks.